Hey, this is Michigan Muck, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to make your own mosaic tiles out of old CDs. So enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe and like. First, find yourself some CDs that you don't need anymore. Then you want to carefully scratch the label side. I used a razor blade, but scissors would work too. And now you're ready for some magic. Use some wide clear tape like I used here. And duct tape works too, but seems a little tough to work with. It's a little heavier. I prefer clear tape since it's lighter weight and you can see through it for placement. And you just rip the label off, keep working and turning and it'll take your label right off of there. Now you want to clean your CD with some rubbing alcohol and a cotton ball. Next, you'll need to make some tile grid lines on a white piece of paper with a fine tip sharpie and a ruler. I created squares measuring three quarters of an inch because this gave me the most out of my CDs. But you can, you can make them whatever size works best for your project. Take your clean CD and place it centered on your grid lines. I like to place a dot there to help as a guide, just to help me stay centered. And now following these lines, draw over the CD with your straight edge to create your cutting lines. Through trial and error, I found the fine line marker does much better so your finished tiles won't be left with black edges. For some of you it adds a little interest to the tile maybe, so that will be to your own personal preference. Next comes the hard part because it can be rough on your hands depending on how many tiles you want to make. The trick to cutting these tiles is using some heavy duty scissors. I use these but I'm going to invest in a better pair for future use. You might want to check online or ask someone at your local hardware store for scissors that would cut fine lines through plastic. Anyway, you want to follow your lines and cut halfway into your CD. I think 
working one side at a time is easier. And there you have it. This is all from one single CD. Now we're ready to get creative with color. Acrylic craft paint in those two ounce bottles and a small paintbrush and you're ready to make those tiles pop. As you can see, they come in a variety of colors and brands. Americana is my favorite. When you apply your acrylic paint, be generous with the amount. You will be pressing two tiles together to form one thick tile. These tiles have had a chance to dry overnight and some are still wet. I'll show you the difference that it makes. You'll need to preheat your oven to 500 degrees and line your baking sheet with foil. I recommend opening a window and turning on your range exhaust fan if you have one, not only for the heat, but, um, and a box fan is a good idea. For the first time that I attempted this project, I noticed an odor from the baking paint and plastic, which I expected, but adding extra circulation with fans and an open window helped to keep the odor to a minimum. Put your tiles in the oven and set your timer for 15 minutes. Take a look at the edges. They should be slightly curved down to show those two squares have blended nicely and bubbles also indicate doneness. After allowing the tiles to cool for 15 minutes, you can start peeling them off the foil. And they come off pretty easily, as you can see. And they're looking like they're ready for a project. Looking good. 
Now this is what happens when you bake your tiles while they're still wet. You get these bubbles that form from the moisture. And oh, they can be kind of cool and unique and you can use them anyway. I'm going to use them for sure. I hope you enjoyed this video on making mosaic tiles from CDs. They're so much fun to make and with such rewarding results. I leave you now with some images of projects I've done including my mosaic tiles. Thanks for visiting!